Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the prevent default method in JavaScript. So essentially, the prevent default method allows you to prevent the default behavior from occurring on an event. So this will actually change depending on the type of element involved and also the context of the event. For example, when a link is involved, the behavior by default is to actually navigate to that new URL. But using the prevent default method, we're actually able to stop the browser from redirecting the web page. So let's see how this thing actually works. Inside the body here, we're going to start by creating a new anchor link tag. So let's type out a with an href of something like youtube.com. Okay. Let's give an ID of YT link, short for YouTube link, and some text content of YouTube. So now if I save this and then refresh the browser, we get a link to youtube.com. Okay, so now back inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually first reference this element in JavaScript and then call the prevent default method on the mouse event. So inside here let's first get a reference to this anchor tag let's make a new constant and call this one yt link equal to document dot get element by id and we'll pass in yt link inside there so now yt link represents this element right here so now below here we can actually add an event listener to this anchor tag this will be a mouse on click event so Let's type out yt link dot add event listener. We're going to add the click event to this um, element. Now the second argument here will actually be a callback function. So we're going to pass in a function here with a single parameter, that being e short for event. Okay. Inside the function body, we have access to this e um, parameter. Now. This is actually of is um, it's actually going to be of type mouse events, okay? So and this means that this mouse event object, this one right here, is going to contain a lot of information about the actual event that has occurred. Now it's also got a method on that object and it's called prevent default. So if I was to say e dot prevent default that will prevent the default action from happening on that event. So now if I was to save this and refresh the browser and click on this link, we get nothing. Okay, so the actual link is still there, href, youtube.com, but it's not working. Okay, that's because of the prevent default method. Now, if you're using a checkbox for this or an input field, a similar thing would happen except it would have its own set of I guess rules and default behavior so we can actually call this method anywhere in this function which means I can actually make a checkbox below here and when the checkbox is ticked the link will work if it's not um, uh, ticked then the link won't work so let's make that right now let's make a new paragraph tag under the under the link tag and add some text we'll say enable link okay then put an input of type checkbox with an ID of um, we'll just say this is I don't know checkbox so CB right now if I was to save this and refresh the browser we now get that right there so when this is clicked the link works if it's not clicked it's not going to work let's do that right now inside the JavaScript, let's first get a reference to the checkbox. So make a new constant and call this one CB equal to document dot get element by ID and pass in CB inside there. So now we have this CB referencing that input type checkbox right there. So now inside this function body, we're going to put a condition. Okay, we're going to say if CB, that checkbox, if the checkbox is checked, Actually, if it's not checked, exclamation mark, if the checkbox is not checked, then 
we're going to prevent the default behavior from occurring. That means if the checkbox is not checked, then disable the link. If I was to save this and refresh the browser one last time, so now press on this, we get nothing. If I enable the link by checking that box, click it again, this time the link actually works. All right, there we are. And that's how you can use the prevent default method in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.